Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to implement auto search drop down list using HTML5 data list control with AngularJS. And here we got the final output. Notice the input text box control. If I mouse over, there is a small drop down button. When I click, see here we got the, the data list items Ford, BMW, Honda, and Bugatti. If I type B, See, we got the BMW and Bugatti. If I type F, we got Ford. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC, first we'll check the table and the column names. The table name is a car which contains two columns, car ID and car name. Now I want to implement the column car name is as a drop down list auto search functionality using AngularJS. Now let's open Visual Studio to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project, and from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The application name is MVC AngularJS Auto Search drop down list is a project name click ok and from the templates I'm selecting MVC ok and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I'm expanding the scripts folder notice there is no any angular.js files in this script folder now let's install AngularJS application, right click the project name, manage nudget packages, select that one, go to browse and search for AngularJS and from the search results I'm selecting the first option, click install, click ok. And notice in the solution explorer the angular files are installing in the scripts folder and angular js installed successfully and notice there is a green tick mark which means it's installed successfully let's close this nudget package window now after that i'm adding the adword.net entity model to this project right click the project name add adword.net entity data model the model name I'm adding car ok and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option click next let's create a new connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name our database name is a sample DB. I have selected test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here we got our connection string. And the connection string name is a sample DB entities. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. And from the selected database objects, I'm expanding the tables as well as DBO. The table name is a car I have selected. Click finish. And here the car entity is added to our .edmx file. Let's close this error list also. After that, the next step, let's open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Now in this controllers folder, I'm creating a new controller. Right click the controller. Add controller. I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty, add, the controller name is car controller, add. And here we got our controller, and now in this controller I'm adding the, the new JSON result function, public JSON result get cars is a function name. Now in this JSON result method, I'm adding our connection string name, sample db entities. I'm creating the object as d is equals to new sample db entities. After that, list 
in the list class I am adding our table name which is a car create a object car list is equals to sd dot cars object dot to list method to list method after return I am adding the json return type the json return type takes two parameters the first one we are getting the data from the car list object comma and the second one is a json request behavior let's add that one json request behavior dot the behavior is allow get that's it we have added the coding part in the controller in this json result get course method now we require the index view page to display the records but before adding the index view page we must build our application go to build new solution and here the build succeeded message we got in the output message box let's close this output message box highlight the index action result right click that one add view the view name is index the template empty without model click add and here we got our index view page also now in this index view page first thing I'm adding the reference of the angular.js open solution explorer in the scripts folder come to the bottom there is angular.js file just drag and drop after that I'm adding center tag let's close this center tag here and how to implement auto search functionality using HTML data list h3 tag MVC with angular.js horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding the HTML5 data list element data list inside this data list I'm adding the options tag after adding the data list element now let's write the script part script now in the script I'm adding the angular.js functionality variable app is equals to angular dot module method the module method the first parameter I'm adding the angular application name which is my app comma I'm adding the array semicolon after that I'm adding the controller the controller method takes two parameters one is the name the controller name I'm adding the controller name controller comma and the second parameter is a callback definition so here I'm adding the function dollar scope comma dollar HTTP semicolon dollar HTTP I'm adding the method of the HTTP method column between single quotes get comma and the second attribute I'm adding URL Let's make it smaller as URL column between single quotes forward slash and the URL the path is I'm adding our controller name which is car car forward slash again and let's add the JSON result method which is get cars dot then is a method I'm creating a function a result object now in this function I'm adding this time dollar scope dot I'm adding the element get cars is equals to result dot data 
semicolon. That's it. We have fetched the records from the get cars JSON result into this get cars object. Now after that, after the horizontal line, I'm adding the view container. In this view container, I'm adding the Angular directory, which is ng app. The ng app directory, I'm adding the Angular application name, which is my app, and the second director I'm adding the controller ng controller the controller name my controller and this do tag I'm adding after the data list now what are the elements or controls are adding between this do tag it belongs to this angular application now let's bind the data I'm adding ID for the data list which is cars and the option ng iPhone repeat x dot x in I'm adding get cars. Let's bind the data between curly braces, which is an angular expression x dot x dot. I'm adding the column name, the card name. Now after binding the data card name into this data list, now I want to make this data list into auto search functionality. Input list property. In this list property, I'm adding the data list ID which is cars. Let's close that one. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now before run this application. We have to change our controller name. Open Solution Explorer. App underscore start expand that one. Or route config.cs file open that one. Notice here the controller name is a home, which is a default one. I'm deleting that one. Our controller name is car controller. Let's add the car. And the action is the index only, which is this one, this index view page. That's it. Let's check the results, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Notice the input text box control. If I mouse over, there is a small drop down button. When I click, see here we got the, the data list items, Ford, BMW, Honda and Bugatti. If I type B, see we got the BMW and Bugatti. If I type F, we got four. That's it. We have implemented AngularJS in MVC. The auto search functionality without using any plugins with HTML5 data list.